Thank you for joining me on this Friday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Does the hurricane season have one more named storm in it? I do believe we could see a tropical storm developing. Models still very split, so a lot to watch as we go over the next a week to week and a half. The area we're going to watch is right in here. Hurricane Center is marked an area right here, maybe a little bit more over here. I want to show you the European model and what could spin up into tropical storm vents. So we'll dive into that. So let me show you kind of the setup. And this is tied into what's going on in the United States as well. Here's the flare-up of rain and storms. Nicaragua, we've been seeing that. Uh, Providencia over toward uh, San Andres, down throughout Panama. Even Belize, some scattered showers and storms. Uh, could see a couple near the uh, Cayman Islands, Cuba, Jamaica. Not a whole lot for today. Now, that 60% chance of rain uh, did definitely pan out in the Virgin Islands. Some of us stayed dry. Others had that rain. And we had some rain this morning and last night as well. Still scattered showers and storms. British Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands back through Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic scattered showers, and watching over toward Trinidad and Tobago, we're going to see an active uh, pattern from Trinidad up through Barbados back through St. Lucia, so St. Vincent the Grenadines and Grenada included. So that's kind of uh, what's going on now. Now here's the big picture and how it's tied together and how we could see our next name system Develop. So here's the United States. You see that right there? Uh, that is one very slow moving front. Here's a zoomed in look. Now, the United States has been very quiet the last few weeks, still relatively quiet in the United States the next uh, few weeks, or at least next few days. You see again, here's this front, the rain with it. This is going to sink toward Florida by Sunday night and Monday. And this is key to what happens down in the Caribbean because as this front sinks in, it could draw up some of the moisture and enhance some of the moisture, uh, leave some extra rain near the Caribbean. So generally, just watching the Caribbean as a whole for a spin up somewhere near Jamaica, the possibility of that uh, by the time we get into the upcoming week. Now the European model saying, hey, this may not be a whole lot, but it could spin up into a tropical storm. The American model has been all in. The GFS saying, hey, this is gonna be a hurricane, but if the American model was right to begin with, this would already almost be a tropical storm. It kind of keeps kicking that can down the road. It keeps moving it out in time. So look like it would be a tropical storm on Friday, today, look like it would be one on sun Sunday, and now it's looking like sometime next week. So the American model is off on this. So again, uh, take those. I know there's a lot of videos out there and a lot of stuff and scare tactics. Take those with a, a grain of salt. Let me show you what the setup is. Here's the European model. Now, here's what we're seeing, some of the rain over towards Central America, watching some near Trinidad. This is that flare up near uh, the DR, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. Here's Florida, Bahamas, Cuba, Belize right here. Now, let's go out in time with the European model. This is by Sunday morning. There's some of the extra rain right through here that we're watching, but not going to lose sight of what's going on near Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, St. Lucia, some increased rain around St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But it's this spot here that may develop. Now, I mentioned that front that works its way through Florida, kind of moves off, and then behind it, another little surge of moisture follows the tail end of that front. This surge of moisture will also be key because this could kind of lift what is in the Caribbean up to the north. Now, by the time we get into Wednesday, so here's that kind of secondary front. This is by Wednesday morning. Still a lot of rain, but the European model on Wednesday still does not have development, but it is showing what we've got, uh, that kind of big area of rain. Then you see this area move offshore of the uh, Carolinas, and then this moisture kind of flares up, and because this is here, it kind of lifts up into that and lifts to the north. So all of this is really tied together. Now, as this system to the north departs, it is going to enhance the rain, and then eventually something could spin up. That's when I think this is by the time we get into Friday, next Friday. So a week from now, as this moisture here eventually moves over here, we could see a spin up into a tropical storm somewhere near either Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, or Puerto Rico. And then this would kind of feed up to the north. So I'm leaning toward this scenario, the European model. Now, the American model has in just a couple days uh, a giant hurricane developing, but it's been showing that for days and days, and the timing has been way off. So that has not been accurate. Now, here's one of the reasons why. Uh, uh, whatever tries to develop down here, there's a lot of wind shear. This map has a ton of lines and stuff on it, I know. Point being, there's a lot of wind shear. So 
as the thunderstorms develop, winds come from the opposite direction, knock off uh, some of the thunderstorm tops, so it can't really get organized, at least in the short term. But out in time, once we get deeper into next week, conditions will be a little more conducive for some development. Now, the next name on the list is Vince, and there is a chance that as this system kind of works its way through the Caribbean, it could spin up into Vince. So that's the next name on the list. Whitney after that, hopefully we don't get there, but there is a decent shot that there is a name system next week but most likely not as aggressive as the American model is uh, kind of seeing things. Now, in the short term, the American model does a great job, and that's what I'll show you. I want to take you through the weekend, show you what we're seeing with, uh, show you kind of kind of how this evolves. Now, this is uh, today, those scattered showers and storms. Look at what happens by tomorrow. Still some of the rain near Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. There's some of the extra rain. Again, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, down through uh, uh, Barbados, up through Barbados, down through Trinidad and Tobago. So the moisture is going to build. And then look at this. This is by the time we get into Sunday, and this is exactly what we're watching, and it matches what I just showed you on the European model. So both models really locked in in the short term. Big blob of moisture forming here near Nicaragua, just south of Jamaica, and we have some extra moisture here. And then it will be a wait and see next week uh, as this kind of lifts to the north how quickly something will develop. So there is a chance of a tropical storm, and that's what I'll be tracking for you. Now look how the rain chance stays kind of active in Puerto Rico. Scattered showers and storms, we've been tracking that flooding the last few days. Same thing, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. We could have additional flooding in some spots today. Trinidad and Tobago staying active right through the weekend. Isolated flooding a possibility, especially southern zones of uh, Trinidad. Grenada, 60% chance of rain. So uh, all across the, or at least uh, a good portion of the Caribbean, it is going to be active. Same Vincent in the Grenadines, 50 to 60% chance. 50 to 60% chance. Barbados today into tomorrow. And we'll see those scattered showers and storms, St. Lucia. So St. Lucia, Barbados, South. South, that's where we have a better chance of rain, but still some spotty showers and storms. Martinique, but you see how it drops off in Dominica. Isolate it, 30% chance today and tomorrow. Guadalupe, a 30% chance right through the upcoming weekend. The rain chance in Belize is going to pick up again. Tomorrow, we're looking at a 60% chance and a 50% chance by Sunday. Jamaica, isolated showers and storms the next couple days. Could see a passing shower as we work our way through the uh, Cayman Islands. Rain chance in the Bahamas stays pretty minimal, a 20% chance. Same thing as we get into Aruba, 20% chance, but it will pick up for the second half of the weekend. Uh, so you can see through the weekend, Curacao, better chance of a few showers and storms as the moisture builds. Spotty showers and, and even a few thunderstorms in Haiti. We could get some lightning in spots. Dominican Republic, that rain chance today through the weekend is enhanced. 30% chance today in Antigua and Barbuda and a 30% chance the next couple days. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. Anguilla and St. Bart's, we're looking at a 20% chance, so kind of limited. And a 30% chance uh, today and tomorrow, St. Martin, Saba and Stacia. Bermuda, we're mainly dry today. Rain chance tomorrow, about a 40 to 50% chance especially later in the day. Yucatan, some spotty showers and storms through the weekend. 40% chance for us in the Turks and Caicos. We work our way through Cuba. Spotty shower, especially on the west end uh, for today. Costa Rica, the rain chance is going to pick up what tries to develop in the southwestern Caribbean. It's going to build up some of the moisture around Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and uh, Panama, northern Venezuela, 30% chance. 30% chance as we get into uh, Guyana. And in Suriname, an isolated shower, about a 20% chance. So again, leaning toward the European model, which means first we're going to see the buildup of moisture. The moisture is really going to build, and then we could get some development as the week goes on, as we get into next week. But the timing of all of this and how it uh, develops will really hinge on what's going on near the United States with those fronts moving across. So watching uh, mid to late next week very carefully. Either way, seeing a lot of areas of rain, it is going to be an active finish to November. So yes, the possibility of a system, where it goes, how strong it gets, way too early to tell, but I'll be on top of it right here. So thank you for sharing this information and have a good rest of your day.